uh, sorry, it's fun tights Friday. So, or fun leggings, fun bottoms, whatever you got on. So, so excited to see some of that stuff today. I'm wearing these, which I just love. They're like probably like $100 leggings that I got for like 10 bucks at um, a thrift store. And they're just the best. So, I'm excited to have an opportunity to wear them. Uh, my name is Cressy May. I am the host of Circus Workout Parties, and I'm so excited that I get to coach today. I don't coach very often just because I have so many amazing coaches on the platform, and the admin work really takes a lot of my time, so I kind of focus on that, but I'm really excited to lead you guys through our warm-up today. Um, once we get started, the workout itself will be 45 minutes between warm-up and the split, so just um, be prepared for that timeline. Because it is only 45 minutes, we will not have a break today like we usually do. And last but not least, for anybody who's able to and uh, wishes to donate, we do take the donations from the entire week and we actually split it up by all the participating coaches based on how many classes they were able to teach with us. Um, and yeah, so for that, Venmo is at CressyMate and PayPal is CressyMate at gmail.com. Um, and yeah, if you have any friends who couldn't make it today, this will be posted on YouTube so you can come back and visit it and you can share it with your friends and we hope that you do. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to pass it off to Casey to introduce yourself and then we'll get started. Hey everyone, I'm so, so excited to be with you guys today. Um, I love stretching and love flexibility, um, so I'm super excited to share with you guys some of my favorite conditioning and stretches specifically for straddle splits. I don't know if it's my nemesis, but it's definitely not my favorite. <laughs> so I've been working extra hard recently uh, trying to do some of that. Um, so I'm super excited to take you guys through some of my favorites. Um, again, as Cressy said, it's fun leggings and tights day. I am in, for those of you that have taken workshop parties with me before, I think I've worn these before. These are one of my favorites. They're my blue purple periwinkle leggings from Mika Yoga Wear that I also got on sale. Expensive leggings on sales, just the best, just saying. <laughs> um, it's amazing. Um, so again, I'm Casey. For those of you I haven't met, um, I am a local Denver aerialist and dancer. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited. Straddle splits are a thing that we do in aerial and in dance. Um, so yeah, I'm super, super excited. Um, if you didn't see in the beginning, um, not a ton of equipment. Um, a mat is recommended if you have a wood floor like me, just because we're going to be doing some kneeling stuff, some lying on your side stuff, so that's not going to feel good. And then yoga blocks, if you have them. I don't have any yoga blocks. Um, I'll just be calling out options for say, hey, if you have one, here's where you could use it. Um, also, and this is totally no worries if you don't, my mind literally blanked out. If anyone has a flex band or a TheraBand, you can grab that too. Once again, you technically don't really need any equipment for this workshop. I'm just gonna say, hey, if you have it, here's where you can use it. So if you're practicing at home and you have a TheraBand or you have a yoga block, you'll know how you can incorporate it. So I forgot to add the TheraBand. I thought I'd forgot something that was totally my bad. So if you don't have one, please don't worry about it. And with that being said, I'm so excited and honored to host a workshop with Cressy. As you guys know, she is absolutely incredible. She's what makes all this happen. So definitely please give her all the love. She's incredible. So that being said, let's warm up with her. Oh my goodness, I got 15 minutes with you guys. So exciting. Let's start by standing up. Now we're just going to start with tilting our head to one side, opening up the side neck and just breathing here for a second. I am also a heavy breather and I have AirPods in, so I'm really sorry if I'm just breathing in your ears the entire time. Good, and now we're gonna just very gently roll through the front and find ourselves on the other side. And just breathe here. Waking up the body. Uh, flexibility is our entire body, okay? So let's go ahead and roll back to the other side. A lot of it is a mental state, and a lot of it is hard work. Um, but we are a kinetic chain all the way through our body. Let's go back to the other side. And the flexibility really starts with our head. So if our neck is feeling stiff and immobile, that's going to transfer through the rest of our body. I'm going to take a second here to really honor 
when our spine does for us and our neck, it holds our head up. It's very heavy. There's a lot of pressure on it. Let's go back to the other side one more time here. So just really like breathe into that space and honor the neck. It does so much for us. Let's come back one more time to the other side. You can add resistance if you like, so whatever is feeling good for your neck. And then if this is, if you're ready for this, go ahead and go backward, and we're going to do full circles. If full circles isn't there for you right now, I want you to go ahead and just do semi-circles. And I want you to think about staying long to your neck, so it's like you're drawing a circle with the top of your head on your ceiling. And maybe once it gets a little more warmed up, maybe now you're drawing a circle around the room. But again, take this slow. I know I haven't really moved much yet today, so when you're feeling ready, go ahead and switch to the other direction. Drawing the circle, staying long through the neck, taking it really slow. Good. And back to neutral. Go ahead and just shake your body out a little bit. Flick any like tension you have going on up through your fingertips if you're feeling crappy. You know, just shake it out a little bit. Shake the fingertips, shake the legs. Maybe you have some anxiety built up in your body. Maybe there's some just unnecessary tension emotionally. Brush it out a little bit. Brush down your legs. Brush down your arms. Front body. Side body. Back body. And now let's roll the shoulders back. Make these as juicy as you can. So I don't want you to go fast, and I don't want you to exert more than your body's ready for, but I want you to find as much range of motion in your shoulder rolls as you can. Good. We're going to put our fingertips on our shoulders and lead with the elbows now. Mmm. My shoulders are very close to my earbuds. I don't know if you can hear all the popping going on right now. Good. And now full arm circles back. Take it slow. And then we're going to go forward. Just the shoulders. I'm already breathing heavy. Wait till we get to the cardio part. <laughs> All right, hands on the shoulders, leading with the elbows. Full arms. Well, Leilani, you just went from one side of my screen to the other. That was crazy. Did a little magic trick. <laughs> Good. And then just shake that out one more time. Let's do some finger flips. So I'm flicking my fingers really hard and then grabbing. When Marisa leads circus workout party, she makes us do this. And it's easy to forget about the little, the fingers and the toes and all those parts of ourselves. So they all work together to keep us strong and balanced and doing the things we love. Good. Shake that out one more time. Now we're going to find a comfortable stance with our legs. So I'm about hip width apart with my legs right now. And I'm going to do some roll downs, but when I'm doing this, I want you to think about leading with the head and being, letting your arms be really loose and heavy. And you're going to go very slowly, kind of like sand pouring through um, one of those, uh, what do you call it, hourglasses. So just like pretend your body is sand slowly pouring through this tube. And you want to lead with your head and then your shoulders. And you're going to go down as far as you can. And then when you get to the bottom, you have a slight bend in your knees as you walk, and you're just going to hang here, releasing any tension that you have in your neck and in your arm. I'm just going to lift up so you can see me here, but you'll stay bent over. You can grab your elbows with your hands and start to do little sways back and forth. I like to do little figure eight motions. And then if you are doing a figure eight, after you do a few, switch the direction that you are going. Keep going, I'm just going to talk about how we're going to come up. When we come up, you're going to bend the knees to tuck the tailbone, and you're going to start rolling up one vertebrae at a time. 
So you can go ahead and start now, starting from the tailbone. Again, really slow. Your head should be the very last one that comes up. When you reach up at the top, you know, lift arms up overhead. You do a slight switch backwards like you're doing a good groin stretch. Bring the hands back down to the side. We're going to do two more of those at your own pace before we move into the cardio section of the warm-up. So again, I'll talk you through it. You'll roll your head down super slow. Shoulders follow. Arms are heavy. Going as slow as you can. When you reach bottom, your bottom, you can give a slight bend to your knees so you're not locked out. Right, you want to think about letting all the tension go from your entire back, down through your shoulders, down through your head, to your whole spine, just hanging out here. Bring it deeply as if you'd like, and when you're feeling ready, please bend the knees, curl the tailbone, roll up one vertebrae at a time, and you reach to the top, big stretch, arm to the side, and then one more. We'll meet back at the top, and then I'll start talking about the next section. So if you're not done yet, don't worry. Take your time to finish up this last, last one, or last two, and I'm going to tell you about our next section. Um, this is going to be a cardio-based uh, warm-up for our body and our hips, and we are going to use a method that I just, I don't know if there's another name for it, but I just call it 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. So we're going to do 50 of the first exercise, then 40 of the next, all the way down to 5. Um, first one we're going to start with is jumping jacks. Then we're going to do butt kicks, thus lifting the heels and trying to actually kick your own butt. Then we'll do high knees, so that's running in place, lifting the knees high up to the chest. Then we're going to do 20 squats. We're going to take a break, do a little bit of a stretch there. Then we're going to do, um, let me actually back up for a second, now that it looks like people can see me. So when we do our jumping jacks, our arms are going to alternate. So this is a bit of a mind warm up as well. And no worries if you're not doing it right. Just watch me re for reference and just try. If you're moving, you're doing, you're doing it. The arms are going to go up as the legs come out, and then down as the legs come together, and then up through center as the legs come out, and then down through center as the legs come together. So I'll show you one of those. It's going to look like out, up, out, up. So they're following the same pathway out and down, and then same pathway up and down. When we get to our squats, we're going to alternate our arms between um, heart center and above the head. So this can be whatever your ballet arms are. So we're going to work on just keeping the shoulders and arms mobile while we're doing our squats. When we get to this portion, I want you to really think about breathing deeply. This is going to be a moment to catch our breath and kind of reground. Then we're going to do a stretch. I'll walk you through that. And then we will do, I'll talk you through the rest once we get there. So. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to count out every 10 so that you know where we're at. And it's okay if you're not at the same pace. We'll just be going for that same amount of time. So let's go ahead and start with our crunchy jumping jack. Five, six, seven, eight, one. Good job. I'm trying so hard not to breathe heavily in your ears. <laughs> We're going to move it on to butt kicks. Five, six, seven, eight, one. We're going to move 
right into high knees. Five, six, seven, eight, one. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Woo! Now we get to breathe. So, I want you to take these squats. These are going to be wide leg squats. I want you to take them as deep as you can without pushing it too hard. And with every squat, see if you can get a little bit deeper. So don't go for your fullest one right away. Work your way up to that. Uh, okay, here we go. All right. Do these all together. So just trying to stay with my pace. Five, six, seven, eight. One. Switch the arms. Two. Breathe. Three. Four. Yeah. Five. Seven. I'm going to stop counting out loud so I can focus on breath as well. Here we are at 10, 3, awesome, 5, are you getting a little bit deeper now? This is 15, we've got 5 more to go, maybe you need to step your legs out a little bit further. Because we are super warm now. We're at 19 here. We're going to hold 20. Now keep holding. I want you to lift up one toe. Place it down. Follow the other foot. Place it down. Hold. Squeeze and hold, really engage everything. Keep breathing, keep breathing, you've got this. One foot down, then the other. Good, both up, both down, and stand. Good job. Now we have a few more things to do here. We're gonna find a wide legged stretch, stand. Um, we are going to come on down and do a forward fold, grabbing your ankles and trying to look behind your back. Maybe you look up at your own foot. You're going to take one hand across to your opposite ankle. Take that same side arm, reach it up to the sky for a twist, and then stretch down and lift. And walk it over to the other side. Same thing, opposite hand grabs the ankle. Same side arm goes up into the sky for a star. Wherever you are. Good. Bring it back to center. Walk your feet in a little bit if you need to, but you're going to come down, low squat, bum up, forward fold. Low squat, bum up, and then roll up. All right, we're almost done here. We might go, yeah, we're almost done. We're going to do one more thing here. We're going to do 10 squat lunge. That's one. Okay, we're going to alternate sides. Ready? Squat, lunge, one. Squat, other side, two. Squat, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Bring it down well. We're going to do side squat to side squat. Five each side. If you don't need to use your hands, don't use your hands, but feel free to do so. We're going to come over to one side. One. One. Two. Two. Taking your arms out will help you use more of the musculature to get through these poses. Three, four, four. 
one more each side. Good. Step that leg in. Booty up. Slow roll back up. Let's just do a couple of hip circles here. The other way. Great job, guys. Good throat warming up with me. I'm going to pass it on to you. All right, guys, that was awesome, Krusty. Thank you so much. Um, everybody have water nearby. Again, since we're not taking a break today, uh, if you need to grab some water, just make sure you have it nearby. Uh, so that way uh, you can just grab a sip in between exercises um, as I am demoing. So make sure everybody can see me okay. Everybody can hear me all right as well. Okay. Perfect. Turning my video so I can make sure I'm in full frame. So again, yoga blocks or TheraBand if you have it, if you want it. You don't need it. Again, I'll tell you how we can use it. Um, grab my water if um, you need it. And again, if you have a wood floor like me, uh, yoga mat is great. All right, you guys. So I'm super excited. So we're going to start out with a couple of conditioning exercises. So when you're working toward a really big pose or stretch move, such as the straddle splits, we don't want to just go to our straddle and start stretching. Um, in order to gain the mobility that we need in certain areas, we have to do what we call active flexibility exercises. And that's where we're moving through a specific range of motion using a set of muscles that we do need for the final stretch. So for straddles, I was doing a little research the other day because I um, know a little bit of anatomy, not as much as I wish I did. But for straddle splits, there's actually quite a bit involved. Outer hips are huge. Cressy did a really great job of warming that up for us, so that was awesome. Outer hips are big. Inner thighs are big. Um, people can be really open in your outer hips, but really tight in your inner thighs, and you're like, why can't I get my straddle, or vice versa? You might be really open in your inner thighs, but your outer hips are like, I don't, can't really do this. So inner thighs and outer hips are really important, um, so we'll be focusing on those, and also working on our external rotation. Because when we're in our straddle, right, we don't want to have the knees rolling forward, and I'll talk about all this later. We want to make sure that the knees are either pointing straight up or the toe is slightly back for the straddle. That goes for the same thing when you're inverting in the straddle in the air. If you do fabric and you do cross back straddle, you know you're not rolling forward this way. We're using our hip rotators to pull that back. We'll also be strengthening those. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. Some of these exercises you guys might already know or have seen in um, some other uh, work, um, workouts here, but hopefully I'll throw you guys some new ones as well. So we're going to start lying on our side with our knees bent. My heels are going to be roughly in the same line as my glutes. Yeah? Looking forward to seeing all these gorgeous tights and leggings on the screen, by the way. So a couple options for you. You can prop up on your forearm if you want. That's totally fine. Just make sure you're lifting in your bottom oblique so we don't get this. So if you want a little extra waist workout today, that's great. You can also come down on your arm and prop your hand. This one isn't my favorite just because you're cranking your neck a little bit, but you can either lie all the way down or this is where a yoga block is nice underneath your head if you want that. So from here, I'm going to imagine that my toes are kissing and I'm gonna lift my knee up as high as I can without rotating my hip and lower back down. We're going to do that 10 times. After the 10th one, we're going to pick our feet off the floor. So my bottom knee is still anchored to the mat and trying to keep everything super stable. We're going to do the same motion, but this is going to get a little bit higher into the top hip that we want to use for our uh, straddles later. Okay. So 10 of each. So here we go. We're going to go and glue those feet together, lift that top knee and squeeze it shut. Now I want everyone to imagine that you're really resisting. So like what Cressy was talking about when we were doing those um, squat plies with really kind of taking a moment and finding your breath here. Same thing with this. You don't want to just plop it down. You really want to resist and really feel those muscles working. Exactly. Let's do four more. Three and two. Last time. Good. Keep the knees together. Hover the feet off the floor. 
now, this is going to be really tricky to stabilize, so really get your core firing, lift that top leg, squeeze it down. The same thing, I think it's more intense. So if you really start to feel the burn on this one, know that's totally normal. And again, really focusing on this rotation, initiating from the front of our pelvis and our pubic bone, and it's wrapping around the back of the glute. All of these muscles are involved in your straddles. Let's do two more. Hold it at the top here, little pulses. Pulse, press that knee back. Squeeze your butt. Our butt's actually involved quite a bit in our straddles to keep us safe. So let's get that glute muscle firing. Last three, last two. Hold it and lower. Awesome. All right, let's swim it around. Show off those gorgeous leggings or tights or what have you. Um, and let's do the other side. So whatever position you took on this side, totally fine, same on this side. Again, if you're doing my version, just make sure you're staying nice and lifted through the waist. And let's go again, guys. So lifting for 10, squeeze it down. Squeeze it down, awesome. Now these are traditionally called uh, clamshells. I don't know if there's any other name out there for them. But I don't know if any of you guys maybe that don't live in Colorado, but it's been getting really warm and really sunny, and it's just making me uh, just crave being outside. Let's go ahead and lower those knees, lift the feet off the floor, and again, keep those toes, big toes kissing, and lower, lift, and lower. Awesome. Really nice job, you guys. And this is just great strengthening exercises in general, like straddles aside. This is these are some of my favorite go-tos for conditioning for both my aerial um, stuff and also my dance and ballet as well. Let's do two more. Last time, little baby pulses. Try not to lean back with it. Try to just let that outer hip do that work. We're gonna do something similar in our straddles later. So just getting those muscles firing. Squeeze the butt. Three, two, and one, and release. Ooh, awesome job, you guys. All right, next up, we're gonna do some parallel leg lifts. So, yes, we do use rotation um, with our straddles, but we also, again, use the outer hips. So we're gonna do, we just did a little bit of rotation. So now we're just gonna focus on the parallel top of the leg and parallel bottom of the leg. So I'll go ahead and do both together, so that way we don't have to keep going back and forth, and then we'll switch to the other side. So my legs are gonna be completely straight, um, if you need to bend that bottom knee for whatever reason, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm hinging slightly at my hip. So if you have a mat, it's kind of near the front bottom corner. Once again, any of these arm options, yoga blocks are great. If you do prop yourself up, you'll get a little bit more obliques just because of the angle we're at, but that's fine. It's totally up to you. I'm actually going to come down here. Whoop, so I get my water bottle. So top leg. This is going to be tricky for some of us. We want to make it strictly parallel. For me, I'm going to want to turn it out. For some of us, we're going to want to turn it in. No, keep it just parallel. So your toes are pointing straight forward. And you should have a pretty good line of you looking at your feet. So every now and again, check and make sure those toes are pointing straight forward. I'm going to flex my feet here on purpose because I want to really think about lengthening and reaching long through my leg. So we'll do 10 of those. And then after that, um, we're going to draw 10 circles. So no bigger than say like a basketball, we're not doing the big raw and jump circles that we do in a balanced turnout dance. These are a little bit smaller. We'll do 10 each direction. That leg, whoo, thank God gets a break. And then this leg can either lay like that, like so, or if it doesn't bother your knee or your ankle, grab here, and we're gonna do the exact same thing with the inner thigh. We're gonna do parallel, Toes pointing forward, 10 lifts, and then 10 circles both directions, yeah? So same pattern, just top leg, bottom of the leg, and then we'll switch sides. All right, you guys, here we go. Core nice and tight, and let's lift that top leg up and lower. So again, we're moving through a range of motion here. So really thinking about stretching for your legs. Sometimes when we're, when we're in splits, particularly in the air, I've noticed even on myself and looking at old pictures and videos, how, like typically it's my back leg, but always is sometimes micro bent a little bit. So really focusing on, especially with straddles, you just want those gorgeous long straight lines. So really think about reaching through your heel 
and imagine that that leg could just go on and on forever. Knee nice and straight. We have one more. Keep it up as high as you can and circle, circle. I'm really squeezing my core here, keeping that nice and tight. I know this burns. I promise we're doing good stuff here. And let's go ahead and reverse it. Reverse. Again, these are little, uh, no bigger than uh, like a soccer ball or basketball. Last three, last two, last time, and rest. Okie doke. All right, so once again, tucking that inner thigh now. Top leg can go like this or uh, like this. Not one is right or wrong, it's just your preference. So once again, checking that that bottom leg is super straight, but is flexed. Reach up as high as you can and lower. Reach and lower. It's super important that we keep our inner thigh as strong, particularly for straddles. Um, depending on how long some of you all have been in dance or circus, um, pulling muscle injuries, very, very common. I pulled my right hamstring um, over a decade ago. And uh, again, I was just stretching, doing a move, like a high leg kick when I wasn't warm. Um, so we really want to make sure, especially as we're going into straddles, hold it up and circle for 10. Um, then our inner thighs are nice and strong because it's super easy if you're weak in that area to go too far and consequently pull something. So that's why we're focusing on inner thighs here. Let's go ahead and reverse it. And these circles are definitely smaller for sure. You don't have as much range of motion. Awesome. Reach that heel. It's probably getting tired. Two and one and rest. Whew, awesome job, you guys. All right, let's go ahead, swing it around, and do the other side. Um, so again, nice straight legs, flex the feet, reaching nice and long, any position you want, and let's reach that leg up and lower. This one, personally, is super easy for me to cheat on. I want to let my leg start kind of going like that. And that's not the muscle I'm trying to work. I'm trying to work right here in my outer hip, really focusing on that active range of motion. Awesome. You guys all look great. I love seeing all these legs <laughs> going up and down on the screen. It's so fun. Last time, let's keep it up there and circle. It's really hard for me to personally not cheat on. So again, feel free to look at your toes here. Make sure you're not turning in or turning out. And reverse. Awesome. Deep breaths, remember to breathe. Last two and one. Awesome job, lower back down. Top leg gets a break. Let's cross the top leg over or lower the knee down, your choice. Flex that bottom leg, reach to that heel, and let's lift and lower. Lift and lower. Awesome. Again, straight knees reaching long through that heel. Awesome, you guys, you're doing great. Let's do four more. Three, and two, and last time, and circle. Circle, circle. Whew, I'm feeling the burn, I don't know about you guys. Last three, two, and let's reverse it. Awesome, make sure your stomach and your core are still engaged, that's important. Last three, and two, and one, and rest. You guys are awesome, amazing. All right, moving on. Um, this is actually a awesome uh, stretch, that, or sorry, not stretch, um, conditioning exercise I learned from our lovely coach Janelle, um, who is incredible, by the way. If you're really serious about getting flexible and getting into flexibility, she is, I seriously cannot recommend her enough. I did a semi-private with her a couple weeks ago, and it just, oh, it was amazing. Um, so let me show you guys this first. Um, we're going to kneel on one knee. So again, this is what we're, particularly a mat's important, or a pillow, or a towel, or again, carpet, you should be fine. So I'm going to prop my same side hand as my kneeling knee. So I'm going to pick my right first down to um, balance. I also want to make sure that the shin with the kneeling back leg doesn't move. That's the one thing that's gonna to wanna to happen as we go in, it's gonna to wanna to start scooting around. Try to make sure it stays in line. I'll show it from the front and I'll show it from the side. So from here, I'm gonna lean into this hip 
This hand can be on your hip. We're going to lift the knee, extend the leg, bend down, lift, extend. Actually, let's just do bend and stretch. We'll just shorten it here. Bend and stretch. So we're not only opening up this active part for our straddle, we're really engaging in this bottom side glute, which is super important. So let me show you from this side maybe, and I'll show you on purpose my knee moving. So it's roughly parallel here. You might see this start to happen. We don't want that. That's gonna add extra pressure on the knee. We wanna make sure that stays in line. So ignore this leg, sorry. You don't wanna make sure this doesn't happen. So every now and again through our reps, just check in with that back leg, yeah? Um, so we're gonna do 10 um, on each side. Yeah? So again, we're trying to really open up our crotch and then extend. It's not, sorry. Oh, why is this trying to fall? Um, so you, again, we're really trying to open up. It's not the most flattering position, but it's, oh my God, it's so crazy effective. So let's go ahead and pick one side. And I'm kneeling on my right knee first, lifting up nice and high, bending this knee, and I'm gonna kick and bend, kick. And I'm turning out just a little bit here in my hip. Yeah, awesome. This hand can just do whatever. Checking with that back knee. Last three. Oh boy, two. And a one. Oh boy, that's why we warm these guys up first. All right, catch your breath, take a second, and let's switch. Was there a message that I missed? The phone crutch. Amazing. It was literally a random number. It must have been like a telemarketer or something. I don't get those a lot. Apologize about that, you guys. Um, so shift your weight to your other side. Again, left, lefty. This heel staying in line with that leg, not scooting out or back. And leaning over, lift that leg, and kick, and bend. Like I just told you guys, I tore this hamstring a long time ago. So if you can tell, this is not quite as bendy as my left side is. That's normal for a lot of us. You're also seeing quite a bit of my crotch, so I apologize in advance. And stretch. Oh boy, two more. We got this. Last one, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. And bring it down. Oh boy. Awesome job, you guys. That was really amazing. All right, last little conditioning thing we're gonna do, and then I'm gonna dive into some kind of pre-stretches for the actual straddle. Here's where if you have a flex band, I'll show you how to use it, but again, you don't need one. So I'll very quickly show both variations, and I'm gonna show it uh, facing um, my back to you all, because it's gonna be a little bit easier for you guys to see. So I'm gonna lie down, so actually I'll show you without the band first. So we're gonna bring our legs together, and I'm gonna keep the eating water bottle collapse there. Um, keeping nice and parallel. So from here, I'm going to pulse my legs out to the side three times. So we're going to let them open one, further two, reach as far as you can, three, and then squeeze in our thighs to come in. So pulse, two, three, and squeeze. So this is not about plopping into your straddle or going onto your wall straddle. Um, this is about really trying to actively engage those muscles. If you have a flex band, it would work like this. So I'm going to bring my feet on the band about hip width apart. Once again, you can always go a little wider too, if that's a little intense. And I'm just gonna anchor the band down. And again, you're gonna pulse out, two, three, resist back in. Pulse, two, three, resist back in. So if you want more resistance, again, this is something you can try at home later too, or even after this um, workshop when you're super warm. So again, if you have a band and want to play with that, awesome. If you don't, you, clear, you don't need it. You can really just engage your own muscles with it. So we're gonna do 10. So I'll do a couple with the band and a couple without the band. Um, but again, if you have the band or not, just be consistent with it. But just wanna show a couple of reps for those of you uh, with uh, both options. So I think, yes, everyone can see me fine. So if you do have a band, try to anchor the elbows down. Um, that way uh, you're not being inconsistent with the resistance, yeah? 
So stomach in, we're gonna reach away for three, for two, as far as you can for one, and resist back in. Don't let the legs fly in with the band. Try to hold some resistance. And pulse. Two, three, and resist. Pulse. Two, three, and resist. Pulse. Two, reach, 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 release. Pulse. Two, three, keep going. I'm gonna do a couple without the band. Out, two, reach, 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 squeeze inner thighs. Out, two, three, and squeeze. This is all parallel. Two, three, and squeeze. Last two, I think. We'll say it's last two. One more here for good measure. And squeeze. Awesome job, you guys. You need a quick sip of water, grab it. I'm gonna do that. Awesome, awesome. All right, so we're gonna go into some stretches, looking at my time. I still think I have like close to 10 minutes-ish. Forgot to double, yeah, perfect. Forgot to double check my clock before I started, but I think we have roughly 10 minutes left, which is perfect. All right. Uh, yes, Casey, you have 10 minutes, and I just want to let you know if a question pops up in the chat, I'll let you know so you don't have oh, to worry perfect. about like, looking at it. Yeah, no worries. All right, you guys. So first thing we're going to do, oh my god, we just did so much work here, and your body's like, oh my god. So we're going to keep the soles of our feet together. Pull it in as far as you can. This is the butterfly, very traditional. However, I want to go into a little bit more depth with it. So, sitting up super, super tall. If you find your knees go down pretty far, you're either fairly warm or pretty open in your hip rotators. If so, that's awesome. If your knees are up here a little bit, that's still okay. We're thinking about actively, once again, engaging back here to reach down toward the ground, even if they're not there. So, still engaging. We'll do a couple where we're really squeezing, engaging muscles, and then we're gonna actually just release all the way over. I'm keeping my hands here by my feet, by my ankles. So I'm gonna lift up super, super tall. I'm actually gonna angle to face you guys this way. So I want everyone to lift out, almost imagine lifting out of your hips, and everyone lean as far as you can go without rounding through your back. So flat back, flat back, as far as you can go. Once you've found that, we're gonna lengthen, squeeze the glutes, squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them, and release. Nice. Awesome, everyone went a little further, awesome job. Take a couple breaths and come back up. I'm gonna do that two more times. So sitting up super tall and leaning forward with a flat back. Maybe you go a little further than you did the first round. Once you found that hold, squeeze your butt. Squeeze your butt, I know it sounds weird. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your butt, squeeze your butt, now release. Yes, nice. Awesome job, you guys. One or two breaths down here. And lengthen back up. We have that one more time. Once again, sitting up super tall. Proceed to all that nice warm up with us with our neck and shoulders. So don't let this happen. Relax here. Lift out and lean forward as far as you can go. Long spine. Long, long, long and hold. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release. If it's accessible for you here, you're welcome to walk your hands out a little bit. If you have a yoga block, you could rest your head on the block. That's another fun option here. Um, we're not trying to pancake here. That's not the point. Um, if you can reach your arms out, the point here is to really try to lengthen through your low back and reach those six bones down toward the floor. So I'm feeling this predominantly in my hips. Um, that's mostly where I'm maybe a little in the inner thighs. Again, once again, if you're really tight there. Again, I always find straddles so fascinating because there's so many components of it and all of us are like slightly more mobile in certain areas. So it's kind of fun to kind of notice like where your strengths are and kind of log that and also notice maybe where you're not as flexible or not as strong and then you can kind of take pull from this workshop. Be like, well, I'm not really strong on my inner thighs. I'm gonna focus more on that or I'm not really strong on my outer hips or what have you. And very slowly walk it up. Whew, awesome. All right, next thing we're gonna do uh, Cressy already did this actually in the warm up. I'm just hoping everyone's going to feel a little bit more open with it. Um, I'm calling this half squat. I don't know, Cressy might actually have a technical name for it. So, this is where we're going to come on to one side and flex the foot. Now, ideally, we want to try to get that heel down. If you have super tight Achilles tendon, that's okay. Um, maybe bring your hands forward to give it a little bit of support. But we're really trying to stretch the extended leg out through that inner thigh. 
So again, if you can get that heel down, awesome. If not, don't worry about it. Arms in front, so you're looking like this. And flex and point that foot a couple times. There's a couple versions of straddle. Some straddle versions you point your feet, some straddle versions you flex. So just kind of feeling what that leg feels like when you flex it versus how when you point it. Plus we're getting nice crazy rotation on this leg here. Fantastic. Awesome. All right, let's do the other side. So that one wasn't gonna be too long. I just wanna do that one before we do our next one because it really helps open up. So again, goal is to get that heel down. Um, you can also, if this knee tends to wanna fall forward, take your arm and kind of like press your uh, tricep against the knee to keep pressing it back. It'll give you a deeper stretch as well. Again, flexing and pointing a couple times. Again, if you're tight across this midsection here in your pelvis, you might feel a bit of a stretch there as well. Just kind of throwing out places you might be feeling this in case you're not feeling it maybe where I feel it. Once again, you might be more flexible where I'm more tight in an area and vice versa, so. All right, awesome. And shift it around, okie doke. We have, um, this one I'm always a smidge hesitant about. I'm gonna go ahead and show it though. Um, it's called the frog. So um, I just mostly don't want anyone feeling any pulling or twerking in the knees. Um, so if you're feeling that, uh, my recommendation is just go back to the butterfly and just do a little bit more butterfly. Um, if it doesn't bother your knees, um, you can do a couple of these with me. So I'm basically trying, I'll show you from the front, I'm gonna try and get my knees out to the side as far as I can. My back shin is in line with my knee, so I don't want them in. I don't want them all like out like a W. I'm, there is a version where the toes touch, and we can do that too. But I want the thighs parallel to start. Now, if you tend to be really tight here, or your mat's not letting you move very much, you can always put a little towel or something underneath there to let it slide. Um, so from here, we're gonna try and walk ourselves down here. So this is where, once again, yoga blocks are awesome. I mean to get some. I don't have any, but if you have some or a big book, this is really nice. And you're trying to drop, so that's the front view. Just wanna make sure you guys got that. So you're trying to drop, you're trying not to stick your butt out. You're trying to drop your hips down toward the ground. Now from here, um, I'm definitely, I cannot twerk. I will say that right up front. However, I want you guys to do a couple shift forward and back. And this is very subtle, but we're really, again, you should feel a really great stretch in your pelvis and in the front of your, um, top of your inner thigh here. So we're just doing a little shift forward and back. Once again, if this bothers your knees, either A, make sure you have a mat underneath you. Um, don't go as far, or again, go back to um, butterfly. The stretch isn't um, always for everyone. I honestly couldn't do it for a while until I kind of got more flexible. Um, and then just kind of hold. If you want to bring the toes together here, you can. Again, I'm not quite flat on the ground here. I've been working on it. Um, but it, it's just a nice like half version of your, of your full flat pancake straddle um, without having your legs um, completely straight. Now we're gonna get out of this very gently, very safely. So I'm gonna put weight into my hands and very gently start to lean back, shift to one hip and bring those legs around. You guys are awesome. All right, we're coming to the grand finale here, you guys. So real quick, um, we're gonna open up into a fairly wide straddle and I'm gonna back up just a little bit more. There we go, perfect. All right, so from here, I'm gonna point my feet. We're gonna do a, um, uh, some kind of ballet side bend stretches before we go into the full straddle here. So my feet are pointed. I'm rotating from my hips, so my knees are pressing back. I'm lifting up super, super tall. I'm gonna pick up one arm. You guys can just follow along with me here. My right arm is gonna slide down. I'm gonna reach up and over and stretch toward the side. Now what's gonna wanna happen is this left hip is gonna to wanna to come off the ground. At least that's what it does for me. So try to reach that hip down. That might mean you don't go as far, that's okay. I'd rather you be honest and really feel that nice reach. 
Good. And now lift up and out. And then let's go to the other side. And you might notice you can go further on one side than the other. Again, that's pretty normal. So again, I'm really trying to anchor this right hip down and not letting this, it's hard to show you here, but my hip came slightly off and I want to keep it down and really reach. Point through those toes, really active and up. All right, grand finale guys, here we go. So trying to scoot a little bit further. You are welcome to, I recommend flexing your feet here at least to start. So checking that the toes stay either pointing straight up toward the ceiling or again, rotating slightly back. So this is also a great little exercise, we're running out of time. But if you're sitting in your straddle, you try to rotate to press the toes back and let them come back to parallel. If you guys can see, I'm just rotating back and forward. So you're feeling this active mobility in your hips. That's a great one. So from here, we're gonna lift up super, super tall, keep the feet super flexed, start to walk it forward as far as you can go. Here again, yoga blocks are awesome. Um, you can prop down on your forearms. And after a couple breaths, kind of scooting just a little bit further. Yes. You guys look so awesome. Amazing. And again, after a couple breaths, if you're flexible enough or feel like sliding out toward a pancake, go for it. Again, as you slide out to your pancake, you might notice about feeling those inner thighs and feeling that pelvis. That's why we did some of the inner thigh strengthening that we did. Because here is where if you had someone that wasn't prepared or wasn't strong in their inner thigh or didn't know how to condition, this is where injuries happen. Um, and we don't want that. So, awesome. Let's hold this for one or two more breaths. And again, I encourage you, again, we're running out of time, sadly, but if you have time and want to hang out more in your straddle, uh, please do. Um, again, really thinking about actively rotating and pressing those knees back. And then from here, we're very slowly going to walk it back, nice and slow. And then I like to bend my knees a little bit, do a little shimmy dance, a little shaky shake, a little flop, floppy dance back to side, quickly bring the knees. And let them fall in a couple times. So you're just really working them hard in the other direction. Anytime you do an intense stretch, one way, always want to counter stretch it with something else. Awesome. Again, any little wiggles, any little stuff that feels good. All right, I believe my time is up. Um, thank you guys so, so much. I hope you learned something new. I, um, yeah, hope some of that was helpful. Um, Again, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, again, straddles are personally something I am still working on. Um, so um, it's great we can all work on them together. Um, as always, thank you all for being here. We, again, although we really appreciate donations, just seeing your faces and interacting with our aerial and circus community is just been one of the things that's been keeping me going. So thank you all so, so much. And I'm gonna pass it back to Cressy. Casey, thank you so much. I definitely learned a lot of new accessible ways to condition uh, for straddles, which is awesome. Again, it's my nemesis, so unfortunately I avoid them and I really shouldn't do that because it's better to work at the things that are hard than ignore them. So thank you so much for giving me and everyone else here a really accessible thing that really doesn't take that long to do. So um, I actually find it really interesting. I just wanted to share with you guys because everybody is so different. I can't internally rotate my legs and they're constantly turned out, yet I still can't do a straddle. So you'll find all sorts of combinations amongst every single person. And it's super important. Active flexibility is so important. And really training the muscles around the areas where you want to be flexible. Um, Fallon's turnout dance classes at circus workout parties have made my active stretches in general way stronger and deeper. Um, so I really, the goal with these 45 minute workshops is really to give you a snippet of something that you can take and repeat um and take pieces of it and explore the parts that really work for you and take that where you need to so this will be put up on youtube i encourage you guys to revisit it if this was helpful for you and to share it with your friends um we do this is our first active circus workout party week where we do not have a saturday class it is memorial day weekend so whether 
you're probably going to be home, but enjoy it and uh, keep a lookout for the schedule. We'll either be posted anywhere between tonight and Sunday. It will be up before Monday. So keep an eye out for that. Again, the donations are super awesome and helpful for all of us coaches that are out of work. So if you've been able to contribute in that way, thank you. Uh, we've never had an empty class. So thank you guys so much for showing up to these live parties and being here with us because that like for our spirits, it does so much to be able to share what we love with all of you. And I think that's all I have to say for today. Um, thanks guys so much. I look forward to seeing you again next week. You guys feel so inclined and have all of your awesome leggings on and feel still super warm. You feel comfortable taking pictures of yourselves and your cool straws and your cool pants. Send it our way. We can put a fun little collage together or something. Thank you all so much again. Yeah, there's, um, there's actually a photo album on the Facebook group um, that I encourage people to post their selfies in. I'm going to keep working on my straddle, so I'll, I'll attempt a straddle selfie for you, Casey. <laughs>